So here's the Tom's Pine Tar, as promised. We're going to real quick show you just how this works. You can see I've already taken the first application out of there. So I'm just going to take a finger scoop of this stuff. It kind of looks like uh, real thick peanut butter, only it's super soft. Um, and I'm just going to take it and go in by hand. And I'm sure there's some old gunstock guru out there who's pulling his hair out the way I do this. Uh, yeah, whatever, man. I, I kind of do things my own way. And, you know, America and all. But uh, just like that, you keep rubbing it in. It makes a little bit of heat when you do it. Then I'm going to go the whole way around the stock. This is the final application. Yeah, I mean, it, it just goes on eh, kind of like Vaseline, actually. It's a lot like rubbing the stock with Vaseline, only it gets kind of warm after a while. So, all right, so um, I'm going to finish rubbing all this junk in. In about two hours after I'm done finishing it, I'm going to come back and wipe it all off, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. All right, YouTube, this is a follow up. This is after the second coat of pine tar has been wiped off. I just want to show you how how much definition there is in the grain. You can really see how it stands out now. Um, there, it's it's a very matte finish. There's not a whole lot of gloss on it, but you can see it does look good. So um, right now, this is a real. Uh, acceptable sort of finish just the way it is but I'm definitely gonna take the wax and go to town on next so um, yeah mostly I just wanted to show you the definition in the grain the pine tar definitely darkens the grain but it doesn't darken the wood itself so much so what you get is a really amazing contrast I mean I, I can't quite get the camera to capture what I'm seeing here but it's it's almost like a fire in the wood. It, it looks really great. So, next step is a couple coats of wax. Okay, YouTube. So here's the wax. Um, this came in a kit along with pine tar. Okay, and um, I chose the white because uh, the buddy of mine who owns this rifle wants it to stay sort of blonde. So it's 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 not quite blonde. Um, in between blonde and a uh, and the kind of a natural finish so I'm gonna start with this you just uh, wipe it on liberally let it set for about 30 to 40 minutes and then you wipe it dry just like buffing a car um, obviously you don't do like small circles and stuff though. so here's what this looks like kind of kind of looks like um, like white shoe polish to me but anyway so here we go we're gonna rub this in just get that wax going okay YouTube this is after the first coat of wax you kinda of see um, it's kinda of hard to really appreciate it that's a little better. But yeah, it um, it's looking real good. The definition in the grain and the fire that comes out of the wood now is awesome. I really wish I'd gotten you guys a before picture, but yeah, moving right along. It's going to get one more coat, and then uh, that's about it for the woodwork.